Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise to glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rukakadash. Double honors to our apostles and our great millstone. And peace and salutations to all you brothers out there teaching this word in truth and sincerity on the highways and hedges. And shalom to the whole full elect, the one third of the nation of Israel, you so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are the children of Israel, the most high's chosen people. Okay? And you so called white people, you are the Edomites, the most high's hated people. Okay? The, the seed that was chosen for destruction. And the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, you are the seed chosen for salvation. Okay? And the Most High is setting this place up perfectly for destruction. And everything in the prophecies are coming to pass. Here it is. This is my Twitter. And it's just a bunch of Edomites coming at me, right? Um, you know, my, my title is Israel 12 Tribes and... Uh, my name is Hebrew Israelite. You know, let me show you the profile real quick. Okay. Uh, you know, I made it back in 2011. Going back eight years, almost, you know, seven, eight years now. And, you know, when Twitter first came out, that looks wicked. Six, <laughs> I gotta look at the followers, wicked followers. Hey, but that's the spirit. This year, the Karagma. Okay. 666, what is the mark? The mark of the beast. Okay. And all these guys are coming at me. Edomites calling me a terrorist. I had to block that guy. He's a demon. Yeah, very funny. Without us white people paying taxes, where would the rest of Americans be? This. Eat just racist stuff. Here it is. He's telling stuff I already know. I said, read the replies. America's through, right? You read the replies... It's through. And this is about Trump telling the San Francisco to clean up. I mean, the city had to test out a spray to repel public urination. I don't like him, but he's not wrong. It's totally right. Everyone's agreeing. San Francisco is a shithole. All right. And we've been saying that. We've been saying San Francisco is disgusting, but now that it's at a it's, uh, at a level where it's completely uncontrollable, <laughs> now you devils are mad because there's shit on your front steps. It's always been shit around Jake, especially in that wicked city. Okay, but now that it's spread out throughout all your all you Edomites, now it's a problem. So as you can see, they're mad. Esau's mad. Okay, it says the high school kids have been doxxed and their faces and names have been plastered all over the place. Meanwhile, the black Israelites who provoked the whole situation by shouting racist, bigoted, and anti-gay slurs at the kids and Native Americans remain anonymous. Yeah, so they both they both came against the Israelites and bugged out Indians. And those bugged out Indians, they're not going to wake up to being Israelites, man. He'd rather bang on the drum tipsy from the night before. Bugged out. All right. Yep. Another. Yeah. What do you mean? And these guys talking about republic. If you believe in Republicans or Democrats, you're a bug out. All right. And the guys, the Edomites that are really about that, about the life, all right, about the race wars, they're not on Twitter supporting Republicans or Democrats, man. They're preparing for war. Why right? they're rolling in the bushes? That were they crawling, crawling on their, on their, on their, uh arms and, uh, and knees under the barbed wire in the mud alright so yeah th this guy's a bug out telling me stuff I already know but the point is just within the past these are all within this is five, six hours ago these are all within if I just go to mentions let me go to mentions this is all within the past a day or two Okay. And they can't handle it. Why? Because I'm speaking on the truth here. I'm speaking truth of the Heavenly Father. The words of the Heavenly Father. And where am I getting it from? The Bible. Okay. So let me get this real quick. This is Psalms 2 and 1. 
Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? That's right. The he these people are bugged out. They're, they're raging right now. They're bugging out. Everyone's bugging out over that whole uh, Gadite, uh, Israelite, Indian, I'll say Native American guy. Paid actor. <laughs> the paid actor Indian dude. He's obviously not getting paid enough. <laughs> Uh, those rich kid Edomites, those privileged red devils, red devil Edomite, MAGA hat kids, and a couple uh, the pullout boys. <laughs> all right. All three of them dudes got these people bugging out, raging. And they're imagining a vain thing. What's the vain thing? You think America is actually going to keep on going. And those guys, man, I, I not, not once did I hear those guys say America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. And that's the main thing you should be pushing out. Yeah, we know Esau's a homosexual. We know he's a he's a faggot, all right? But we're in that time where you don't even need to really say that anymore, okay? That's a known, that's known. What you need to do is start pushing the prophecy more of the mark of the beast, America be destroyed, the race wars, and the, uh, the asking Esau questions. Ask him questions, because that's all I've been doing. Actually, let me get, let me get it out. <laughs> Like how many of the, is, how many of those taxes are paid by the ruling elite that control Hollywood media, government, and sports? Right? What streets is that? We're already in hell, man. Yeah, Anti-white racism. When you speak truths on the history of the white man and the millions and millions he killed creating this crumbling society, these devils are losing their power. We were at the end of Esau's world. And what is he saying? He said, white people can handle. So white people can handle with some grace being called racist and evil and colonizers and oppressors and exploiters. All anti-white racism. But I talk about factual IQ differences and everyone loses their minds. Toughen up, people. Niceness fail. The conversation is here. Which is good. I like Esau like that. <laughs> All right. I like Esau bold, man. The way you're supposed to be. But now that people are finally standing up to you and calling you for what you are, you got a problem. <laughs> After all these years of of racism, this guy acts like he just like he'd been he'd been doing good for hundreds of years. You barely just turned a leaf within the past generation. Our grandparents were getting boots in the ass, literal. Our, our our parents, a lot of our parents were in them in them riots, right in the protests in the sixties, seventies. Okay. And even now, man, our people are getting killed on the streets by you so-called white people. So, yeah, you know, this this is what I'm showing you is that. But we're, we're at that time where everything's being set, okay, through the prophecies, um, the Most High, World War Three, good and evil. This is everything. Like uh, the Apostle Tahara speaking about Armageddon. That's our World War Three. World War Three is, is going to be the it's a, a war. It's going to be a physical war, spiritual war, all in one. Because it, really it's going to be the ba battle of good versus evil. Because in the end, the Lord is going to uh, uh, win World War III. Right? You think it's going to be between the Russians and the Chinese. and Yeah, they're, they're going to be in it. But the Lord and the, and the Heavenly Father and the Israelites, the elect, the one-third, the mighty angels, we're going to establish the kingdom. All right? That's how it's going to go down, man. And when it goes down, you Edomites are going to go down, right? Going down into the pit. Okay. This is Luke 12 and 49. I am, come to this, I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will I if it already be kindled? There you go. The Lord said he's, he's going to bring fire on the earth. How so? Thermonuclear missiles. Okay. But I have a baptism to be baptized with. And how am I straightened till it be accomplished? Yeah, so the Lord, before he, he can come and bring that fire, establish that kingdom, he's got to have a baptism, all right? And that and, and he, he was straightened till it be accomplished, meaning he had to be, he had to sacrifice himself. Suppose ye, for it's a sacrifice of the who, to do what? To save us, to save the Israelite, the elect, the one-third. The entire nation of Israel, 
right, through us. To establish the kingdom of heaven forever. And that's why he went through what he went through till it was accomplished. Okay? He fulfilled the prophecy. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division. That's right. And if you turn on the news, everything's division. It's either you're with the MAGA kids or you're against the MAGA kids. And it's either you're with the Hebrew Israelites or you're against the Hebrew Israelites. And I'm going to tell you, everybody's against us. All right. <laughs> all right. Everybody. But that's part of the that's part of the prophecy. The truth isn't meant for everyone, man. It's, it's meant for the elect. All right. The select few. The righteous. It says the righteous shall scarcely be safe. This is uh, Luke 12 and 51. Suppose ye that I'm come to give peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division. For from henceforth. There shall be five in one house divided, three against two and two against three. The father shall be divided against the son and the son against the father, the mother against the daughter and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And that's just more proof of how divided everyone's going to be over you, how was shy. I mean, the Lord, the fact that the Lord is coming back and going to destroy America, that cuts people. People don't want to hear that. It's bringing division. And it sounds rough when you hear it from us, the low, lowest of the low, right? Israelite men. Yeah, because you really look at us like scum. Yeah, these guys are bums. They don't have any jobs. They're on benefits. Like the, like the coon guys. They're on benefits. Uh, they're stupid. They have low IQ. All right, they're ugly. They're, they're fat. They're whatever. Dumb. Whatever they say about us, man. The Lord didn't go to give it to the to the, the supermodel, man. Okay? The guy with all the bands, the chains. All right, that man, the Lord ain't dealing with those guys. He's dealing with the meek, all right? He's dealing with the humble. He's dealing with his elect. All right, so suppose ye that I come to give peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division. Yeah, that's that vain thing you people imagine. That the Lord is an Edomite, the Caesar Borgia. Jesus Christ, that guy, that demon. Yahweh Shai is a black man, all right? And he's returning back, a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. And he's coming back to destroy this wicked, evil society, man. And subject all the people underneath him, man. Underneath him. And all must bow to him. And best believe, we've been doing it. And we're going to be the... We're, 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 we're preparing ourselves to be the first ones, Right? To give our supplication. And we're already doing it now. You brothers out there teaching this word. This is part of, this is the sacrifice. And so as you can see, the Lord's all about bringing division. And I wanted to bring out this, uh, out of Jeremiah. Okay, during the time of Babylonians taking down the Egyptians. And it's spiritual because that's, you know, this is what's happening right now. Okay, this is uh, Jeremiah 46 and 13. The word that the Lord spake to Jeremiah the prophet, how Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, should come and smite the land of Egypt. Declare ye in Egypt, and publish in Migdal, and publish in Noth, and in the Ta Panis. Say ye, stand fast, and prepare thee, for the sword shall devour round about thee. Why are thy valiant men swept away? They stood not because the Lord did drive them. He made many to fall, yea, one fell upon another, and they said, Arise, and let us go again to our own people, into the land of our nativity, for the oppressing sword. They did cry there, Pharaoh king of Egypt is but a noise. He hath passed the time appointed. <laughs> yeah, and that's what's happening here in America. See, they the went over there. And the, these valiant men, they swept away. The, the people, the strong men of America are gone. Right? They're out there fighting in uh, overseas and getting shot at, coming back on the opioids. Okay? Coming back with missing limbs. Coming back uh, 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 um, completely bugged out. Demons on them. From things they saw or things they've done. And the most high is just plaguing them. 
all right and it's here america is getting to the point where people are just gonna dip out man like, all right man we'll just leave america we're getting to that point people are renouncing american citizenship over trump you know if this wall goes down goes up they get this wall up best believe a lot more people are gonna leave they did cry there, Pharaoh King of Egypt, but a noise hath passed the time appointed. Yeah, and you so-called white people, you passed the time appointed. It's about a time. It's that time where the Most High is going to send all these other nations to destroy you. Okay? And the Most High is setting it up perfectly. Okay? Because these nations, the so-called white man, all right, the Israelites... Okay, the so-called women, the Edomites, uh, the Israelites, the, the Moabites, the Ammonites, Hamites. All these nations are, 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 are coming to their knowledge of who they truly are. And you so-called white people, as much as you want to deny it, man, it's already done and dusted. You're the Edomites, okay? No one else could be it. You can't, you can't explain anything. It doesn't work out that way, man. That's not the breakdown, my dude. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> this is uh, Matthew 25. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was unhungered, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer Sam, saying, Lord, when we saw thee, and hungered, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink. When saw we thee a stranger, and took thee in, and naked, and clothed thee. Or when we saw thee, or in the prison, and came unto thee. And the king shall answer, and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of, my, of these brethren, ye have done it unto me. Okay? And that's how brothers deal with each other. We do, why are we so good with brothers? Because... That's reflection of what you're doing to Yahweh Shai, all right? And that's how you know who the sheep are, <laughs> okay? The sheep are doing that right now. As for the goats, are you other nations, right? The Most High separating it. He's separating it. the sheep from the goat, the goats on the uh, the goats on the left hand, the sheep on the right hand. And so we're the Most High is putting. He's I mean the Yahweh Shai. That's what's happening right now. That's why everything's getting divided again. Racism. You thought racism was was, was never coming back. Y'all thought you ended racism. That's gone. It's good. It's it's come back with a vengeance. People say it's never left, and it hasn't. It's just gotten worse because the Most High is putting that spirit out there back into this devil, the so-called white man. And you people, man, you will only realize it until it's too late. Okay. But that's the spirit of Yahweh Shai. He's got to separate the sheep and the goat. None, none here, none here is talking about him coming and just making the sheep and the goats kick it together. And he loves them both. What do you think happened to the goats, man? Them goats got sacrificed, all right? <laughs> that's what the goat, that's what happened to them damn goats. Okay, let me bring a couple more scriptures and wrap this lesson up. This is Isaiah 13 and 14. And it shall be as the chaste roe, and as a sheep that man, no man taketh up. That shall every man turn to his own people, and flee every one to his own land. That's right. And you so-called white people here in America, they're not going to want you to go into Europe. You're going to be getting overran by Israelites, Okay. These sanctuary cities are not a place to be if you're an Edomite. When the time goes down, you're going to see a mass death of Edomites, man, in these sanctuary cities. <laughs> okay? <laughs> you Edomites, you're not going to want to be there. 
Okay, and you it's you're it's already at that point. Okay, you don't want to be there. You got Jake's is walking around, knocking out Edomites, hitting licks, breaking in your cars. All right, your daughters just getting, you know, dipping out, going to sanctuary cities. Where do you think she went when your daughter, your 16, 13 year old daughter, leaves the house fighting her dad? You're talking about you Edomites. She go runs to a sanctuary city. <laughs> okay, for, for and for what reason you already know. She's gonna return what on opioids. All kinds of scars on her. Through. Asking you for money. So she could go to a different sanctuary city and do it all over again. <laughs> till, till they find her body decomposed in a, in a homeless encampment. In a sanctuary city, of all places. <laughs> you so-called white people, man. The Mosai is destroying you before our very eyes, man. And you can see it in their pride. Okay. This is Jeremiah 5 oh. Jeremiah 50 and 16. Cut off the sword from Babylon. In him they handleth the sickle in the time of harvest. For fear of the oppressing sword, they shall turn every one to his people, and they shall flee every one to his own land. And that oppressing sword is that martial law, okay? Esau is actually going to institute that, that national emergency. This man, Donald Trump, is, is the guy to do it, okay? I don't see him going anywhere, anywhere but down, all right? He's going he's gonna to finish, finish this thing through the spirit, all right? Lord willing, all right? He, he's going to get the job done. Not like that piece of shit Obama just messing around, pizza, eating pizzas and hot dogs all day, having pizza, pizza, and hot dog parties in the, in the White House with, with Joe Biden. Trump is about that action, man. He's shutting down the government. All right? And he's about to get that oppressing sword out. Okay? And that oppressing sword is going to force all you people to turn everyone to his own. And you Edomites are already doing that, man. You're already retreating. And then, you know what? Jake already been... Jake already... Jake ready, man. Through the spirit. Okay? And with that, I want to give all praise to glory and honor. And until next time, you so-called white people are the Edomites of the Bible. And you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, you are the Israelites of the Bible. <laughs>